What's going on investors? In today's brief video, I wanna show you how to buy Vanguard index funds directly through Vanguard. My name is Dash and welcome to Mind Over Finance. We're gonna start on our account's main screen and we're gonna go up to the buy and sell tab. And when you click this tab, you have three options. You can either buy, sell, or exchange Vanguard funds. Keep in mind that you can also trade non-Vanguard funds, but I have a feeling that there's probably some kind of fee associated with those. The reason why I buy Vanguard funds directly through Vanguard is because it's a way for me to get a great investment without having to pay brokerage commissions. We're gonna click on the buy Vanguard funds option and that's gonna bring us to the buy Vanguard's fund screen. And you have to start off by saying where the money's going. We're going to add another Vanguard mutual fund. And you wanna enter in the ticker symbol of the fund you want. So we're gonna buy some VTSAX today. And VTSAX is the total stock market index fund admiral shares, minimum investment, $3,000. And because VTSAX has a minimum, when we're telling Vanguard how much we wanna buy, this number has to be $3,000 or higher. And one thing I wanna mention about this minimum because I don't think people bring this up, but you don't have to invest $3,000 every time you're investing into one of these funds with a $3,000 minimum. Keep in mind that once you invest that $3,000, the minimum investment beyond that is only a dollar. So if you have limited funds, it is nice to know that you don't have to dish out a ton of extra money to buy more of this fund. And next, we're going to tell Vanguard where the money's coming from. And in my case, it's coming from my available Vanguard balance or my settlement fund. And when you click continue, this box will pop up asking you if it's okay to send your prospectus to you electronically. And I'll click accept. And on the next screen, I review my order. So what am I buying? I'm buying $3,000 worth of VT Sachs or the total stock market index fund, Admiral Shares. And how am I making this purchase? I'm using my available Vanguard balance or my settlement fund. And keep in mind that what you're paying for the fund is the price that you're given at the end of the trading day. So if you make your request after the close of the regular trading day, then you're gonna pay whatever the fund's price is at the end of the next business day. I click submit. And that's it. Once you see that green check mark, the thank you, and your confirmation number, then you're good to go. And in this tutorial, we successfully purchased $3,000 worth of VT Sachs or the total stock market index fund Admiral shares. And keep in mind that when you buy index funds, it's not the same as buying stocks. So a lot of times when you buy stocks, it's instantly in your account right after you purchase. But when you're buying index funds, it may take a couple of days before it shows up in your account. When you're on your Vanguard overview page, you'll know which funds are still in progress or being processed when you see the little red rectangle with the P inside of it. But once that red rectangle disappears, then you are the proud owner of index fund shares. Well, that'll do it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, but more importantly, I hope you got something from it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to turn that like button blue. Share. And if you're brave enough, subscribe and join me on this journey to grow Mind Over Finance to 10,000 10, subscribers subscriber strong. strong. And for those of you who are just getting started with index fund investing, you're not really sure of where to start, but you're genuinely curious about how to invest in index funds effectively, I want to leave you with a book recommendation. I highly recommend checking out John Bogle's The Little Common Sense Book of Investing. It's a great way to get started, and I know it's a book that helped me a lot. And I'll leave a link to that book in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.